Albuquerque police say two teenagers, one just 15 years old, are the crooks who stole a car, used it to smash into a pawn shop, and grab nearly 20 guns Sunday night. They have one of the kids in custody, but the other is still on the run. Here's News 13's Jeff Todd. Dick and Jess, police were worried about solving this case. They didn't have any suspects, and the thieves burned the stolen car, apparently to destroy fingerprints and other forensic evidence that could have led to them. But thanks to a lucky break, they solved it quickly and got the guns. Today, Albuquerque police showed off the 15 rifles and shotguns they recovered. The guns had been missing since a stolen car was driven through this pawn shop late Sunday night. Police found a torched car, but they were stumped until they got lucky. We're very happy that we were able to recover the majority of the weapons. Uh, we only have three outstanding, and hopefully upon the arrest of the one outstanding juvenile, we'll be able to recover the other three. Cops found the guns yesterday by chance at an apartment complex near Central and Wyoming while responding to a call about two people fighting. It was a, a training officer, and what makes this very interesting is he had a recruit with him. When cops showed up, the fight was done, but a neighbor told police that Donnie Harris was the guy they were looking for. So upon them opening the door and him just being able in plain view, seeing the hacksaw and the half of a barrel, he realized that something was going on in there that he needed to, to find out. Cops searched the apartment and found more guns in a bedroom with price tags on them. Those were traced back to the pawn shop. Police say they found the stash just in time. They were attempting to sell them immediately. But what police are most concerned about is that it's two boys who are at the center of the crime. Police say Donnie Harris's younger brother Brandon is the thief who stole not only the guns but also a car. Now the 15 year old is still on the run. They think 16 year old Raymond Vega was his partner in crime. He was arrested yesterday. Because of their ages, that's what concerns us even more. Um, they drove it through the front door of a cash pawn business and all they took were weapons. Police say they've been talking to Brandon Harris since last night, but as of right now, he's still on the loose. He has a criminal history that goes back to when he was nine years old. That was for his very first burglary. Jessica, back to you. Okay, Jeff. Police think Donnie Harris was going to help sell the guns, but they don't think he was in on the pawn shop smash and grab. Police are looking to see if the two teens had been on a crime spree before the pawn shop hike.